Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Place of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I was just thinking, it's been a little while since we did an Eden run. Why don't we throw down a little Eden uh, action here? We're starting with Necronomicon half HP, which yeah, I was going to say has to mean that uh, we started with an item like Old Bandage or like, you know, Fat Odd Mushroom that gives us an HP container but doesn't fill it up. A little weird. KVWAGMZX, if you're looking to play this one along with us. This is the first, um, oh yeah. Don't mind if I do. This is the first seed I've had in a while that uh, frightened me right off the get-go. Actually, it seems like our rate of fire is pretty good, but it's hard to say because we, we just came from a run where we had brimstone and all sorts of action like that. So, I can't say with 100% certainty. However, seems like our stats are relatively good to start with. And the fact that I picked up that HP right off the bat is actually awesome. Uh, I mean, obviously it would be sweet if we could just get like one bomb and then start the, the train rolling here. But we'll go fight whoever our first enemy is. I got pretty lucky probably that it wasn't the Haunt or Fistula. But even, you know, with two HP, I wouldn't really expect that either the Haunt nor Fistula could um, really cause us that level of, you know, turbulation, turbulence, uh, tur turbulentism. Um, I've lost the ability to speak English. Uh, my... Wernicke section in my Broca's area. They're they're getting all uh, abscessed and, and rotted. That's okay. We'll still be able to finish the episode, I'm sure. Hey, Squeezy is actually an awesome pickup for us. I'll avoid picking up the Spirit Arts before we go down to the next floor. It seems like the sections of my brain that do handle whether or not you should pick up Spirit Hearts are, is still intact. I believe that is the, uh, that's the Cobalt Zone. Runs in a, uh, a band right around the top of your head where you would, you would place a funky looking hat. Oh, if you'll excuse me, we'll try to find our item room and then we'll abandon this floor. But it's actually gone fairly well so far, all things considered. I mean, we, we picked up a Tears upgrade. We're going to have a really good chance of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. Almost assured. I mean, not quite. I don't want to count my uh, chicken before they before it hatches. But hey, man. I, I never really... I mean, I understand the, the reasoning of the idiom. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. You know, if you were if you were a farmer and you were banking on a certain amount of chickens showing up, Surely you would want to wait until the chickens actually hatch, but I, it always seemed like, you know, what it means in practice is like, don't count on something happening until it actually happens, but hey man, even if, there's another idiom, how about this one? Even if your egg doesn't hatch, you still got an egg. You ever think about that? I didn't realize our item room was so close. Sure, yeah, mini mush is okay. It's pretty philosophical, right? Even if your egg doesn't hatch, you still got an egg. How's that for an idiom? Well, you know, don't count your chickens before they hatch, but you, you can assume that maybe you'll have an extra egg or two out of the situation as a result. We could have done this and, like, blowed, blowed, blown these up and maybe gotten that pot as well, but I really thought we'd find a secret room on that side as well. Anyway, it doesn't matter all that much. We are uh, set up fairly nicely, and actually, we could... Uh, no, nah, it's okay. I was going to say we could Hermit Card or we could use our Golden Key to get into the, the shop and then shoot the fires and try to get enough money to spawn an arcade. But I'll just be honest with you, I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> Not getting an arcade on this floor is the kind of thing that is hopefully unlikely to have seriously negative connotations. We're on the basement. Basement ooh, basement is good. Basement means no haunt, which means there's pretty much no boss that could really ruin my life here. Are you a wizard? There's a card that can ruin my life, and, and that's it right there, but luckily we only have... Uh, like one real enemy here, so I don't need to use Necronomicon. We can save that not for the boss room, but for the potentiality of a big room showing up, and we will pick up uh, Stompy, which I actually quite like in the early game. Once you get in the late game, it can sometimes become a little bit of a uh, liability, but I like it for a variety of reasons, one of which you just saw right there. It allowed us to uh, walk right over that, uh, that poop and kill it without having to actually take any time ourselves. Obviously, of course, there is a... Um Ooh, good. Uh, there is a uh, Isaac's room there. That's always interesting. It's always tempting. If you get a clean room, eh, not really worth that much. But if you, or sorry, if you get a dirty room, not really worth that much. But if you get a clean room, oh, the places you might go on a uh, potential black market. I'm also thinking that because it's such an early floor, we actually can crush all of the rocks. And in crushing all of the rocks, I believe that there is a hidden crawl space in black market on every single floor. You just have to find it. Oh, this is looking pretty good. If I had to bet on it being anywhere, I would bet on it being right here. We'll watch out for the bomb rock, of course. You don't want to mess that up. We'll open this golden chest. Out of convenience, largely, but still. We can also get into our shop. I mean, there's a variety of ways we can get into our shop. Quite obviously. I Oh, there we go. But uh, we, could, we could bomb our way into our shop and save our hermit card and maybe use that you know later on as a teleportation. We have a crawl space, and the crawl space has little brimstone. That is actually awesome. 
one of the best items I've ever gotten out of a crawl space. I've gotten a holy mantle out of one once, but usually you go in and you're like, oh boy, what could it be? And it's like, safety cap. You know, come on now. So, I mean, safety cap's not necessarily bad, but I'm not gonna, you know, write home about it. Mom, I got safety cap. I'm getting more, you know, are you a wizard pills? No, thank you. We do have enough bombs to do Isaac's room now. Uh, yeah, of course, why wouldn't we take Lucky Toe here? So maybe we'll get a black mark. Oh, but we've already seen the crawl space, right? So it has to be a crawl space. And it has to be empty because we've already been in it. Well, that's a little bit of a piss off. But let's see what we get in our uh, deal with the devil here first. Guppy item, maybe. Uh, goat head, actually. Goat head is awesome. Yeah. And the extra spirit art to compensate for the half one that I lost. That's a, that's a good trade as far as I'm concerned. We're at five minutes here, which is faster than we need to be. Which I like. Don't take that out of context. Two bombs to get into our shop, hopefully. Yeah, that's gonna work out like that. So we can save a key and our teleportation card for later, perhaps more grandiose uses. A couple of spider bros there. Uh, I... You know, I don't love Necronomicon, actually, so... I mean, we could roll with portable slot in some, uh... Interesting ways, but I would rather just not. I'd rather take Pandora's box. And we can just use it, like, on the next floor immediately. I know we used a lot of bombs there, so we won't be able to go into Isaac's room. But hopefully you understand, you know, roughly what I was getting at, which is basically that no matter what, even if you got two ladders, like you used a shovel to create a crawl space next to a crawl space, or even in a different room than your original crawl space, they all go to the same area, which is a little bit unfortunate. So the best thing we could have hoped for was a dirty room that maybe the, the bed healed us or something like that. Oh, we should have saved this for the womb one, but you know what? I'm not going to be that salty about getting a... Tears plus shot speed upgrade right off the bat. And a free deal with the devil with some crazy good items. This is not a bad situation in the least. So we just picked up some some killer damage. Hematomesis. We're pretty much at the HP cap. Another tears upgrade. So we got let's let's take inventory quickly. We got ceremonial robes. Um three demon hearts plus a damage upgrade. Come on, dog. Come on, there we go. Three demon hearts plus a damage upgrade. We got Brother Bobby. Uh, you know, a familiar that shoots a little bit. Very slight DPS upgrade, technically. And we got Abaddon, a uh, 1.5, or plus 1.5 damage, I think. Fear shot and six black hearts, but it takes all your red hearts away, so... It's not literally the best deal with the devil we've ever had, but you gotta be probably talking that's a uh, top 10%. And it's pretty much entirely because of Abaddon. Like, any deal with the devil that has stuff plus Abaddon is awesome. I'm gonna go this way just because it's gonna be annoying to come back here. Uh, but, oh, I guess we're gonna have to do it faster rather or sooner rather than later. Um, but, uh, any deal with the devil that has Abaddon plus other stuff, it makes it really awesome because you pretty much just get the other items for free. You're gonna take Abaddon anyway in almost every case. There, there's very very few cases where you're not gonna take Abaddon. There's very few cases in which you won't take an item that gives you HP back, you know? Like the Mark, the Pact, Ceremonial Robes, those items have almost become automatic pickups no matter what your situation is because it's so rare for them to actually be bad. Uh, so you're, you're going to be picking up Abaddon anyway. You're pretty much getting just like two free deal with the devil items out of it to begin with. So Abaddon, it's a weird deal with the devil item. It's a little bit like like the guppy items. Particularly think of something like, I don't know, guppy's collar or something like that. Or guppy's hairball. It makes other items around it better. That's maybe not the principal value of it, but it's part of it. We got Dark Bum. This is just crazy. I don't, I don't even want Dark Bum to pick up these red hearts yet if I can avoid it. Because I don't want him to pay out. We're already so close to the HP cap, it's maybe better for us if, if he doesn't pay out now, but if he gets as close as possible so that he can pay out soon in the future. But, you know, that that's kind of like, you know, I'm making a jerk-off motion with my hands right now, and they're touching my penis. I'm actually masturbating. No, I'm not, uh, to, to say that explicitly. I'm not uh, engaging in self-pleasuring right now. But what I am saying is that, you know, all the conversation about min-maxing at this point on this run, in this particular geographic location, is... Um, it's intellectual wankery, basically, because we're doing so well and it doesn't matter. It's just, you know, we're, we're filleting ourselves. Oh, look at how smart I am. I can figure out the puzzle. Okay. Very clever. Congratulations. Fear Shot pretty much destroys uh, Gertie Jr. Which is fine by me. Uh, we have Goat Head, so we can do this. We can pop in and be like... Oh, right, we already completely took everything from that deal with the devil. 
I think we just don't take anything and we head down to the next floor. I don't, I don't see why we wouldn't. Catacombs 2. Like, the HP is... Let me put it this way. If you're already in this situation, you would rather have one HP and then trade one red heart away than trade three spirit hearts away most of the time. But it's an inexact science because you know you don't know if you're going to get another deal with the devil again. And if you don't, you've ruined um, permanent Polaroid invincibility and maybe Horror Babylon this for yourself forever. And you're saying, oh, you have the goat head. You're guaranteed to get deals with the devil. Yes, but there's no guarantee that those deals with the devil are actually going to cost us um, red hearts. You know, they might just be red chests or something like that, which would uh, put us in a troubling situation. Anyway, long story short, the other thing that makes it that conversation again, you know, some form of or some form of uh, intellectual wankery, is that uh, we have dark bombs, so we have absolutely nothing to worry about from an HP perspective. And uh, truth be told, we're probably, and by probably, I mean like 95% at a one run already. And I feel uncomfortable saying that because, you know, there's a there's a showman, there's a P.T. Barnum inside of me that is like, hey, you know, don't tell them that the run's going to be won, you idiot, or they're not going to watch. But, you know, hopefully what I can say is I'll do my best to carry it from an entertainment standpoint. And now, no pressure, you know, I'm not going to totally freeze up or anything like that. I've been doing this for a long time. Up, down, I can do this all night. And it actually is 723, which is probably one of the, you know, most technically correct times to call it night. Well, we can't really take that. I got a real question, and by real question, I of course mean that it's bullshit. I actually am going to take this. Um, it's bullshit, you know, banal minutia that bothers me. We should have, like, a, a Council of Nicaea. Nicaea? It doesn't matter. It's still, you know, the joke is that I use that as a reference for something so minute. But anyway, um, we should have, like, a, a council that determines when the barriers are for specific times of the day. For example... Morning is easy, by my standards, or by, by my interpretation. If you call something morning, it better bet be between the hours of sun up. You know, if it's if it's 5:59 and the sun's not up yet, that's maybe debatably morning. But I think you're still you're at the the late late night. I think at that point, uh, like is 4 a.m. the morning? I don't know. Is 5 a.m. the morning? I don't know. It depends how close the sun is coming up. In my opinion, that changes to the afternoon. At noon. The afternoon is the most literally obvious one. It's afternoon. Between the hours of like 12 and 2, that's like l objectively afternoon. I don't know when it becomes late afternoon, but the thing that bo I sure as fuck don't know when it's evening. When is it evening? Is 6 p.m. evening? Is it when the sun goes down? Some people throwing out evening at like 11 p.m. I don't know about that. Is 11 p.m. the evening? Is it the late evening? You might even call 11 p.m. late night at that point. I don't know. Is evening the same as night? They have certain different connotations, I think. I don't know, man, is what I'm trying to get at here. That's why we need the council. If only so idiots like me can actually, you know, say, Oh, now I get it, and I won't make the, you know, mistakes I've made earlier. I did not mean to step on those, necessarily. I was wondering, can these mushrooms... Ooh, uh, that's okay. Can the mushrooms actually produce uh, crawl spaces? I don't think they can. I guess it doesn't really matter either way. Because we're not going to be crushing too many of them. We'll try to crush some of the rocks that we can, but... Truth is, if there's a crawl space... Well, there, I think there's definitely a crawl space on the level, but... If there is, it's probably... That damage is just... Hilarious at this point. It's probably in an area that I can't reach. There are a lot of rocks kind of hidden behind chasm walls and there chasm gaps and stuff like that. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Just leave. Don't even talk about it. Don't. Oh, I forgot that I hadn't fought the hollow. I'm excited to see what our deal with the devil is. Again. I don't say this just to defend myself. But. Mistakes on this run. You know. It's like Tom Brady throw in an incomplete pass. I guess we might as well go with Head of Krampus. It's like Tom Brady throwing an incomplete pass when he's already up by like 40, right? This run is almost impossible to lose at this point. Alright, Necropolis won. We're about a minute ahead of schedule. If you think that I am not going to concern myself... Well, we should check this out. If you think I'm not going to concern myself at least a little bit with the possibility of boss rush, you are out of your mind right now. You know what? We can actually at least walk in here and try to crack this stuff open just to see if there was a crawl space hidden in there somewhere. 
We are going to worry a little bit about boss rush because being able to pick up a free item is like real freaking useful, you know? Don't shoot the messenger there. The problem with uh, boss rush has never been that boss rush is not worthwhile. It's that boss rush was just never worth the, or po probably not worth the amount of, of effort and, you know, mental energy that I was giving to it. But if you can get to boss rush and still do your due diligence on a floor, then it's gravy. I'll probably end up cracking those skulls. Because if we crack those skulls and get another teleportation card, we can actually save a key, which might be valuable. By, uh... Uh, we probably won't take that. By uh, using our Hermit card. Two of clubs. I'll just pop it right now, even though I understand the, the inherent idiocy of that. Figured we... Oh! Yeah, we got in. We got out. That's fine. So our item room, not that good. Uh, demon judgment. Eh. It's a... Uh, you know, I've done it. Maybe this is a good excuse to let Bumfriend actually pick up some HP here so we can trade it to Demon Judgment. I've done it in the past, like the very recent past, but I'm uncomfortable doing it for a couple of reasons. One of which is that we would be trading Spirit Hearts. No question. We can't get around that unless we pick up Stem Cells, which I don't necessarily want to do. The other thing is that I can't see my HP, and those two things working together kind of make it so that I really, really don't want to. <laughs> I, I really, really don't want to, so I probably won't. Let's see what our boss is like first, though. Mask of Infamy. I think we're going to just take the easy way out and, you know, little brimstone and shoot the shit out of the heart, and then we'll probably cramp his head, you know, like right now. And that made that very easy. Picked up a range upgrade, which may or may not be useless, and uh, an actual deal. Okay. We have to have at least nine. But I'm only going to take Dark Matter and Death's Touch. Save a little bit of HP, you know, just on the off chance that something goes terribly... like that. The, the off chance that something goes terribly wrong. So we'll, we'll explore a little bit more. I am tempted to just head down to the next floor, but we'll explore a little bit more. Definitely not playing that Demon Judgment now. Are you crazy? I'm not sure how many times we can fight Greed, but we must be coming close to that record right now. Now don't get hit on the way out. We're a little bouncy here. Watch out for spikes, watch out for all sorts of nonsense along those lines. Ooh, runes are very tempting. Burkano. Not the best, but, you know, certainly a, a rune that you're happy to have. Why wouldn't you be? It's just some free friends, and, you know, we can all use that from time to time, I think. Would like to, you know, pay very close attention to the possibility of things like Red Hearts now, because Dark Bum can finally be worth his weight in gold for us. Certainly, from a damage standpoint, there's there's nothing wrong with this run at all. It's for you, Dark Bum. The only problem with this run is that... It's not even that we have poor HP. We have a great ability to gain HP in the future. The problem with our HP is that I just traded half of the maximum away in order to pick up some extra damage. So we're at 1530. We still are... That's for you, Dark Bum. And then we'll move. We still are a little... Yes, we have uh, free openings of these. We still are um, a little bit faster than we need to be to make Boss Rush work, which I appreciate. There's a secret room over there. We have enough bombs to feel pretty good about that. And we're going to get out of here, actually, not with about a minute to spare. We're going to get out of here at uh, what I would consider roughly the right time for being able to do Boss Rush. Which is fine, because if we find the boss room, we can Hermit Card the shit out of there ASAP and not have to worry about things. Still do our due diligence after the fact. All right, 1609, plenty of time to go to our secret room, pick up, uh, doesn't really matter, let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty tempting. I mean, the other thing is we could, oh, we could take a sun card down to the next floor and we could walk into this guy and lose that spirit heart that we just gained to make me a little bit more wary about our situation overall here. Uh, but I could also just bomb our way through this room put ourselves in a situation where I don't have to walk through that spike bullshit anymore and hopefully feel pretty good about where we're at going down to the next floor at 1636 relatively appropriate timing so our HP we oh, we still had four and a half that's not that bad obviously it could be better but it's not that bad that's for you dark bomb thank you just gonna you know I, I don't like doing this because this room's going to take a while, but there's also such a good chance to get things like runes. I don't use cards against humanity. I know it makes me 
big ol' asshole who doesn't like fun, but I don't, I don't use it. We'll use Ansu's. That'll really, really help out. To the point that it'll pretty much make it a foregone conclusion that we find out where we need to go here. So we'll pop Justice. It's for you, Dark Bum. And we'll pop uh, the Hermit card. Please. Please, I beg you. It doesn't matter whether it's Hermit or Moon. But we'll take Hermit. Okay, where are we going? Boss room's over there. Plenty of time. Shouldn't be an issue. Joker card. Don't want to leave before we kill these guys. I guess we might as well wait on the Joker card. Because we can use the Joker card to get a deal with the devil on the floors where we won't get a deal with the devil. A.K.A. Um, you know, the cathedral and the chest. People have been saying, hey, you know, idiot. They haven't always been using idiot. But they've been saying, hey, idiot, why are you using your Joker cards when you have a goat's head? Like, don't you know that you can use that to get a free deal with the devil on the cathedral where you wouldn't otherwise get one as a result of Goathead's mechanics? And you're not wrong, but at the same time, the reason I've been using it is not out of ignorance, but rather out of laziness. You know, largely, Virgo's pretty sweet here. Largely me saying, um, you know, I would rather get a deal with the devil right now than worry about holding this. Even though we're going to get a deal with the devil for sure later anyway. Let's crush this, just see if we get something useful. Could have told you that was going to happen. And we'll throw down one of our few remaining bombs. We don't want an eternal heart. I apologize. Appreciate the the thought. Oh, I can't believe we still took damage in there. Anyway, we're going to teleport out of the room. So we can just do that. And we'll use Little Brimstone whenever it's appropriate. It's such a good item. I hate when I see people hate on Little Brimstone because it's a little bit more expensive now. And it's a special item. It's so good. It's kind of rich for me to talk about it here because I got it for free. But still. All right, so we take Polaroid. Our devil room has <laughs> Brimstone and Horror of Babylon. Okay. Well, one second here. Okay, Guppy's Collar for free for sure. You know what? We already have Death's Touch. I'm going to take Horror of Babylon here. They're both huge damage increases for us. If we get the HP, I might come back for Brimstone just to see how out of control we can get. Definitely taking Holy Mantle. And we get Hermit card now. And uh, I guess we'll buy this. Can I buy this? No, it won't let me. Okay. We'll pick this up. And we have Virgo, so this won't hurt us, but it kind of sucked anyway. But we'll donate as much money as we can here. And now we can go back and get that Joker card. We could kill ourselves, and it's a theoretical possibility that we'd come back to life with Guppy's Collar. I think that's a... Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's sign out of this bad boy. Skype, come on now. And uh, we will come down here and we'll try to crack this stuff open for uh black hearts and whatnot there we go finally it came back to a spades i'll pop that right now because we are going to use some keys here yeah i don't want to use guppy's collar to try to come back to life because if we died it would just be the worst way to die and by worst way i mean funniest way but still see this is a situation that i'm not totally familiar with i'm aware that some parts of you know the chats want or uh, comments i guess in this case want me to die is it better to take Brimstone? If Let's say we get like one more HP. Is it better to take Brimstone and put us one hit away from death? Or is it better to uh, not take Brimstone because it's an item that makes the game so easy, you know? It's, it's a complicated situation. I gotta, I'm gotta i going to try to play the players a little bit. Poker style. All right, that's good. I, why am I even bothering? <laughs> Might as well just leave. Uh, counterfeit Penny, not particularly amazing. Should crush these just on the off chance that we get a crawl space. I haven't been looking 100% diligently for crawl spaces, but come on now. I would like if, if one would show up. We've been cracking open our fair share, I think. Strength card not really worth very much for us. I felt like he had something. Thanks for not dropping that in that chasm. I appreciate that. Alright, 2029. Well, we might as well go to our... I do want to go to our double key room. Fuck it, I might reroll the whole run and then pick up Brimstone. Just to mess with people. Nah, we don't have a chance to reroll the whole run. Um, that's the Joker card. Oh, that's Card Against Humanity. My mistake. And we got Dead Cat out of it. I would like to become Guppy. I would not like to get the HP associated with Dead Cat. Because it would ruin Horror of Babylon. I don't think we have any way out of it, though. Like, the way out of it is just to not take Dead Cat, which is unfortunate. I was like, what if I take Strength... Like, I only have one Strength card, but what if I take one Strength card and Dead Cat? Maybe Dead Cat will reduce me to zero, but I don't think it will. Look, there might be a way out of this, but I'm not going to take it. It's not uh, important. And you know what? 
I'm gonna make the decision not to take Brimstone for a couple of reasons. And I'll just be 100% honest about it. I think it's kind of boring if you get Brimstone too much. And we have had Brimstone a lot, so... Or, we haven't had it a lot, but we had it in literally the last episode, and that's enough for me, so... Oh, I didn't realize there was a Tinted Rock there. Um, we're going to... We're gonna say no to Brimstone for now. And that's okay. It'll be back later. And we're gonna say no to nine lives. If we get the opportunity to become Guppy through other means, sign me up. Oh, I totally forgot we picked up Holy Mantle, right. So our HP is, like, extremely good. But, uh, yeah, there was, there was definitely some good to say about taking nine lives. However, it would also cost us our uh, Whore of Babylon. And Whore of Babylon shows up so rarely, I think it's best to treat it with the respect that, you know, I feel it deserves. I wanted to show up more often in the future. Anyway. Careful. That was not a smart play. But again, we get one piece of free damage on every room. Virgo also giving us that Celtic Cross effect. Helping out. I would love to pick up some black market action here. It didn't necessarily come out the way that I intended, but we're um, not going to be able to divine whether or not we have a black market or a crawl space or just a trip down to the next floor. Although I guess if we if we crack open a rock and it comes out with like a you know like a body part that takes us to the next level, it has to be a crawl space or a black market because you can't just do that and find yourself going down to the next floor. The only time that would happen is with a, with an Awaz Passage Rune or with a um, with the shovel. So that makes sense. If we, if we get a black market, we can just, you know, be relatively guilt-free about it. Or, you know, worry-free. Guilt is a totally different beast altogether, I suppose. Curse Rune? Well, with Holy Mantle, there's really no reason not to. In fact, we'll walk back out and we'll crack these open because there's no reason for us not to, you know, walk open those bad boys either, really. Okay, we shouldn't go in there yet. We'll do one more room first. Or just walk out and walk back in. That could be Guppy's head. I would say... Oh, come on now. So many times I've done that here. I would uh, I would take Guppy's head over Krampus's head at this point. Today, in very popular opinions. <laughs> Seriously, though. I, a lot of people do... Uh, well, why do we even have to use a bomb there? A lot of people do like... Uh, Krampus' head? I like Krampus' head, maybe not as much as everybody else, or the, you know, some other people, but I think we're a lot better off with Guppy's head, just because I, you know, can use it every single room and get a little bit more benefit out of it, I think. Two of Hearts doesn't do anything for us. And the Emperor card is fantastic, but we won't be using it. Please don't pay out with HP. Well, that's fine. I mean, you can pay out with as many of those as you want. Portable slot. If we find our second secret room, we can do some weird stuff with portable slot. Stuff that you can't show on TV in most countries, but we're gonna just, uh... We'll, we'll put that in our maybe file. Anytime we have... Oh. Come on now. Thank you. You know what? I think I might go a little buck wild on this demon judgment. We're already gonna get occasional periods of, uh... Invincibility. I wish this stuff would just stay gone. Uh, occasional periods of invincibility out of permanent Polaroid invincibility. And then, also Dark Bomb paying more HP and occasionally super long invincibility thanks to Virgo. So, I'm not overly concerned about our HP if we can maybe pick up a couple extra. See, no risk there. Well, a little risk because it actually looked like I could have walked back into that shot while it was still moving and after my invincibility ran out, but limited risk might be a more appropriate way to put it. Alright, one's dead. Dude, you don't even want to pop up. Just stay down there, man. Life's better underground for you right now. Alright. Are you a wizard? We'll probably say no to that. And we'll fight Mama Gertie and get our second to last deal with the devil, which is a very nice thing to be able to say. I took some damage against Mama Gertie, and that does not make me a happy camper, to be honest with you. But the fight's over. We get Blood Clot for some extra damage. It means I can stop trying to crack open some of those types of polyps as well. And you know what? I, I asked for Guppy's head. Ask and you shall, re shall receive. Let's take it up here. Um, I guess that's the end of the floor, so we're actually just going to leave. Sorry, Demon Judgment. You tried. That's okay. We are playing a little bit fast and loose with our HP, but under the assumption that more will show up later. 
All in all, that was a, a pretty good... I want to say a pretty good deal with the devil, but... Uh, it was it was a pretty good item from the boss, at the very least. Like, Blood Clot for just a raw damage up is alright in my book. Now all we need to do is pick up one more guppy item, and then I'll stop feeling sorry for myself for avoiding uh, nine lives. But we have managed to maintain our permanent Polaroid invincibility, so... At least it's not like we... Come on, with the car alarms. People, it's, people it's 2015, people still got car alarms. I like the idea of... Uh, a character that, you know, just doesn't understand that some pieces of uh, technology are, are timeless. You know, you always gotta have car alarms. It's like a dude who doesn't own a... Anyway, I won't spoil the character. Maybe I'll loop him into those uh, bullshit shows I keep submitting to the CBC. Anyway. That's not annoying at all. Uh, the... Nine Lives pickup would have been great, but it could still be the right decision not to have taken it. Please tell me this this person with the car alarm is not like at work or something like that. I would uh, I would be unhappy. How long do car alarms go off for? Anyway, do they just go off forever? Oh, it stopped. Okay. This is good. Like, what can you do if a car alarm goes off, but you're like at the office or something like that? And and your car's not there for so maybe you walk today because you're trying to you know start a healthier lifestyle. It's like a smoke detector. I don't know what happens. Uh, store credit, you might be thinking, why aren't you picking up store credit? Well, it doesn't do anything for us on Deals with the Devil. You are thinking of credit card, which is a great, uh, trinket. But, uh, is not the trinket that showed up. In fact, what showed up is not even a trinket. It was a... Or it is a trinket. Credit card's a trinket. Credit... Sorry. Store credit is a trinket. Credit card is a card. I've gotten them confused and backwards here. And I do think that we have a pretty good guppy chance with the fact that we have this Joker card that we're going to use, like, immediately on the next area. I almost popped the Joker card by accident there. You ever do that in Isaac? Don't lie to me. It happens to everybody. You hit Q instead of E or Q instead of Spacebar or something like that. If it doesn't happen to you, you haven't played enough Isaac. That's my, you know, divination from that, you know, pearl of wisdom. Alright. I'll admit that we're not quite doing as much damage as I thought we would be. Like, we're, we're doing real well, but I guess what I'm getting at is that we're not Guppy. The flies that we would have had, the aggregate flies created from multiple rooms, would have completely destroyed Mom's heart and made it seem like we're doing more damage than we are, I suppose. Curse of the Unknown. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Free Guppy item wouldn't be, though. Okay. Oh, uh, no free Guppy. Well, that's unfortunate. But we did do the, the quote-unquote right thing. I still can't believe, you know, I haven't been crushing every rock, but I've been crushing a lot of rocks. We have not gotten a dry baby payout. We've only gotten one crawl space, and it was on the easiest floor to do so. It's a little surprising. I'm not trying to sound entitled here, you know, if we, uh, if we don't get it. This has still been an amazing run. And we could have had Brimstone on this run as well, just to make it completely ridiculous, but... It's pretty ridiculous as is anyway. Bombs are key. No, thank you. I mean, I don't even know why I'm making such an effort to... Such an effort, you know what I mean, though. Uh, to hold on to, uh... This, uh, bad gas pill. Like, we can just use it like this and it'll accomplish something for us, but... I figured we'd blow up that bomb rock because we were in our holy mantle invincibility anyway, so why not? Almost got tagged by Fear Shot there. Or, uh, by... It wasn't Fear Shot's fault. It was my fault for getting close. But Fear Shot would have been the total reason for it at the end, I guess. Uh, shh, No. As much as I would love to, I, I can't bring myself to take Fate, even though it's a free ability to fly, because I don't want the HP. You know, I've... Oh, come on! Alright, well, if you're gonna force my hand like this game, I'll take Dead Cat, alright? You got me. We'll take Dead Cat. That's going to ruin our invincibility, but now we're guppy for sure. Thank you for the spirit heart. Uh, and now, with being guppy for sure, we might as end having one red heart. We might as well take this. I tried to resist. We did lose our Whore of Babylon state as a result, but I'm assuming the flies are going to be better than the uh, Whore of Babylon ever could be. Unfortunately. Oh well. Couldn't have just given, it, given us guppy's paw instead, or both of them simultaneously. 
You know you want to hook me up. Did you just give me a pill? No, that's my pill that I dropped, of course. Just testing you. We're going to still keep... I mean, it's not really farming for a crawl space, but we're going to keep hoping for a crawl space, you know? It's pretty much the same as my like exercise plan. I'm not really like... Uh, you know, dieting or working out. I'm just kind of hoping to wake up in better shape without putting very much concerted effort in on my part. Eh, it's not working out that well so far. You know, it's no Mike Chang situation, that's for sure. Yeah, the flies are definitely more effective than Horror Babylon was. I think that's probably pretty obvious to anyone who's ever become guppy and or had Horror Babylon at any point in their lives, but, you know, just in case you, you need a little bit more, uh, explanation or a, a, a mild authority to give you their opinion on it. Yeah, I would rather be Guppy than have Horror Babylon. Confirmed. It's hard to make the argument that Horror Babylon is better. Being Guppy gives you the ability to fly, you do more damage, you summon a bitchin' ass like fly army, and you turn into a cat. What does Horror Babylon do? Well, it, 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 you get horns! Fuck that, dude! I'm a cat who shoots flies out of his fucking spirit. Like, that's... You can't, oh, well, Guppy's overplayed. Yeah, but, you know, can you really ever turn into a cat and shoot flies out of your sternum too much? You might be thinking I got sternum and spirit confused, but haven't you seen Donnie Darko? The spirit is contained within your solar plexus. Anyway, this is uh, as good as over. Oh, my God, the cricket's head pickup. Speedball, not that important. Might are probably not necessary, but we have it. And uh, Book of Sin with a Fool card. The Cricket's head pickup is just staggering, though. I am, you know, I know we've had it a few times, but I'm holding out hope that we end up picking up uh, Tammy's head, because it would just make every room so fast and ridiculous. Like, Tammy's head and chocolate milk or something like that would just be insane. But it's already pretty insane. We're just lacking that one, like, crazy over-the-top item. That would make it, like, truly, like, you know, National Enquirer, Ripley's Dean Cade style, believe it or not. Fat on Mushroom, man, yeah, sign me up. If you just want to keep hitting me with damage upgrades, I'm, you know, more than open to being uh, a member of that club. Kind of feel bad about occasionally taking time to, to Guppy's head on a room. It's taken away from our DPS ever so slightly to spawn flies when we just do it naturally anyway. Well, I guess that's going to do it for this run. I don't think we picked up many luck upgrades, so I'm not really expecting to get uh, a huge boon in terms of, uh, like, chests that show up or anything like that. Let's just get it done. I'm kind of surprised the blue baby's still alive, to be honest with you. But it's pretty much over as is. Well, that's, uh, like, our 11th or 12th or 13th win in a row. I guess we'll check it when we go through here. Yet another, like, pretty good streak with a couple of weird losses in the middle, but hey... 12 wins in a row, nothing to sneeze at. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.